come back and play here, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, a lot of motion. I've had, uh, you know, I've wanted to play in this game for you know, ever since I got to Washington State. I'm just, you know, so proud of the guys and how, uh, how we battled and, you know, the defense, special teams, offense all coming together and just uh, really happy to get a win out of here. How many people did you have here last night? Uh, it's over 60, probably, that's probably low ball. Man. Have you ever played in the stadium? I never have. I was redshirting. Uh, he has, but uh, you know, I was looking forward to it. I mean, even in high school. I never did. Now they have the high school playoffs, and uh, it came up short. How would you kind of characterize this game offensively? Uh, you probably weren't as efficient as you would like to be, but still. You know, I think, I think we moved the ball really well. It's just we got to that red area, and, and uh, for some reason, we just stalled. And, you know, three times we were able to punch it in, but you know, this. Um, if we do our job and put it in, then you know, it's not it's not as close to the game. Uh, we don't have to put that stress on the defense. But we just got to find a way. You know, when we get in that area, they put the ball in play and make positive plays. Cool. Can you say this is the best sort of defensive performance your defense has had on the pitch range? No, oh, man. It's, it's, up, there. it's up there. Yeah, turnover wise, yeah. But uh, I mean, it was a great performance by them. But. Uh, we had two shutouts. Yeah, two shutouts. But turnover wise, I mean, they played. Yeah. Given how the offense is getting to the red zone, but not managing to finish off those touchdown drives, like how significant was it that the defense kept getting you the ball back? Like, did that give you guys a lot more confidence? Yeah, I mean, uh, our starting position tonight was, was crazy, especially in that first quarter. I mean, uh, we were on their plus side the whole time. You know, like I said, on our, for us, we just got to put it in. So then, you know, the momentum shifts for us, and then we can just run away with this game. Were you nervous at all about coming back to this, or just kind of? You know, I was really excited. I think uh, I had more butterflies for this game than I've ever had, and I just really wanted to come out here and, and uh, you know, put on a good performance for my teammates and just do my job. And you know, this one really means a lot to me. I mean, I'm not going to lie about that. It, it really does. So. Were you able to see Coach Favero or maybe some of your high school teammates? You know, when we were busing in, I saw Coach Favero and his family, and then uh, my dad was on the sideline. It kind of reminded me of high school team. I don't know how he got on. Cole, the <laughs> the environment tonight with the noise and just how intense at points it was with the fans, that play into a couple of those false starts, so was that affecting your guys' play? Uh, I just think those were mental busts. Uh, I think we came in knowing how you know hostile of environment this is, especially you know I have experience playing here as a richer freshman, as crazy as that was. But we came in the game knowing it was going to be loud. I just think those. Those are just mental busts, nothing, nothing to do with the crowd. Well, any adjustments to pick up their blitz if they had a little success with them early? It seemed like you felt them better. In the game. Yeah, they, they, they throw a couple of late safety blitzes on us that, you know, the tackles had to breed from, you know, off the run, which is hard, but towards the end of the game, we started picking them up, made the adjustments on the side of them. What about those records against You know, the, the only thing I'm after is a championship win, and, you know, we're one game away, and we just got to gotta keep, uh, keep it going. I mean, we're on to the next one. Oh, well, what about these records? They're breaking into you. Oh, they're great. You know, I mean, I guess we're doing a decent job up front if he's breaking records. But at the end of the day, you know, we're right here to win games, and that's what we're doing. So, you know, if we win games, break records, you know, that's great. Did you guys watch the Husky Stanford game last night? Well. Wash tail a little bit. What, I mean, what do you guys think? You know, this year you're finishing off better than you did last year. What do you think is kind of been behind that? Just I think mindset. I think. Uh, you know, the off season we had a finished mindset, and you know, right now we're uh, we're just doing our job. We're just doing the little things. We're not thinking about the bigger picture. We're just doing the things that uh, that help uh, get the outcome that we want. So we're just really focused on doing our job and taking it one play at a time. Luke, is it any more meaningful to break the record back in Utah? Uh, that is pretty cool. Yeah, so that definitely means uh, something. I'm glad we did it here, or in Pullman, either one. Would when you were growing up, did you used to dream about playing? At the, I mean, because like you said, the high school championships were here. Did you dream about playing here, kind of growing up when you were younger? Um, College-wise, I was a big Utah State fan, and uh, you know, playing high school ball at Logan, you know, I always thought I'd play there. But uh, you know, when the, the youth win the Pac-12, definitely wanted to uh, get my shot to play for them, and just you know, fortunately, it didn't work out. And now I'm here, and I'm glad that Washington State gave me an opportunity. And, I'm just having so much fun. When, when you consider who the the people that you've passed on the way to this record, how how does how do you kind of put yourself into that mix? Where do you think you rank in the 
that list of people who have held that record and you know kind of as you've gone up where do you rank in there do you think uh, I'm not really focused on rankings or anything like that I'm just focused on you know, enjoying the win tonight and then you know, on to the Huskies for uh, the next two weeks of preparation so that's really where my mind's at I'm, I don't really care about all the individual stuff I'm, I'm a team oriented guy and you know we got a lot of work to do does this next matchup mean more the fact that the senior class is not the Huskies in the time that you guys have been here like yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's another game. We just got to approach it like another game and uh, you know, just go out there and do our jobs. But we, we know it's on the line. So how do you guys talk about it? How do you characterize this window of opportunity you have within each other and try and motivate to try and take advantage of it? I think right now we just, uh, we're just we going to take this bye week, get our bodies right. We've played 11 straight uh, games, which is you know, a tough and toll, and we're just going to know get our bodies right minds right and then uh, you know we'll focus on Washington when we have a first practice. One more for these guys. I feel like the bye week now kind of came up the perfect 